O'Neill here. We're at Georgia Powers Lake Oconee with Jim Osier. He's a wildlife biologist, and the subject is the bald eagle. Right. First of all, let's begin by asking, why was the bald eagle in trouble 60, 80 years ago? We think primarily from widespread DDT use. And so the chemical did a lot of good things on farms and controlling mosquitoes, but it did some harmful things in impacting eagles and other populations of predatory birds. Kept them down. Pushed them way down. It interfered with calcium metabolism. The females were laying eggs. They essentially had no shells. And I they see. Were, the reproduction fell off to about nothing. Okay. How about now? Now they're doing much, much better. You know, DDT use was outlawed. We've had a lot of other things happen, and the public's more supportive, and a lot of better habitat, too. And we had uh, about 200, over 200 nests Ooh. last year in Georgia alone. That may be more than you ever had. It very well could be. And uh, these inland reservoirs, such as Lake Oconee here, are providing habitat that didn't exist probably, you know, back uh, 50 years ago. Okay. And so we've always had good habitat on the coast, but we're finding more and more habitat inland as these reservoirs have provided that needed foraging and nesting sites. And so that is Georgia Power's role. Right. Georgia Power has played an important role in the recovery of the eagle. These reservoirs, again, provide a good foraging habitat. The trees around the edges of these reservoirs are providing good nesting habitat. And it's really helped to have these, these populations coming back. You know, many of the nests are actually on Georgia Power lands. Others are on different lands. They're also on these same reservoirs. So, you know, we've been good partners in bringing this eagle back. So Georgia Power plays its role, as always, for wild places and wild things and we all benefit. 